Hello, welcome back to another Ranked Super Auto Pets video. It's Backpack Brand here, we're back at it again. And you may, uh, you can't see it, I'll pull that down for you. 16.79, the ULO is increasing. I mean, we're going up in this world, we're not quite back at the 1%, but we're almost there. Let's just wait for this lobby to fill up. Okay, do I stay, I, I guess I'm staying in the term, Tournament of Gods, uh, six man lobby. Five people around 1600 and then one guy just joined last second. I appreciate the fact they joined because at least that means there's six people in the lobby but that means I have to I have to fight my way through a whole bunch of really strong individuals. Oh take a toy. I'll, I'll keep you frozen. I'll keep you frozen. I'm a determined pearl, you know. Can't stop. What, what, uh, what do they do? Grow in the ocean, I guess? We are so lucky that we didn't lose that. That's to be, like, completely honest with you. Should have lost that one, but... Now that we didn't lose that one, I don't mind just going for level. I mean, I should take my own advice, right? Last time I said, why not go for a level instead of going for a win this turn? So, I'm gonna do this. Basically throwing this round. And I'm gonna roll for matches. I mean, it worked. But, because I'll, I'll bet it, I got matched for the unit that I am already leveling. But, you know... A singular trumpet would go absolutely crazy with this build, <laughs> have to say. Not a sim single trumpet spawn, but whatever. It's also a miracle how close we were to not losing that one as well, but you know, we went we went for a bit of a temporary build. Okay, give me a level. Flying fish is kind of... It's an idea. I'll run it. I need the tennis ball because this squad is way too weak. The problem is I would like to get you both so that you're level through, but I need like a... I need something here. But right now I'm relying on what? Spawning in a huge bee. That's my only win condition because I don't have a trumpet to activate this tamarind. But I also, I'm setting up for like a, a really strong future, but it's like, you know, how, how long am I going to spend investing in the, you know, proverbial bank of the pet before I want the return? I need to get the return at some point. It's inevitable. That being said, I'm not so worried. We got lucky there. Don't think I missed the luck. I see the luck, although I think maybe it wouldn't have mattered in the long run. Seeing as we had two pets surviving. Okay, let's just put those in here. You're really testing me with this luck. Okay, I will consider freezing you. I think objectively there's just a better idea to keep you around than to keep the horse around. So, so be it, you know. Yeah, I'll freeze the beetle. I'm not so keen on freezing a beetle, to be honest with you. I found, uh, I, you know, last night or morning or whatever, time zones are irrelevant for the discussion, but I saw, um, not saw, I'll talk about what I saw later. I, I, I got a first place ranked lobby win running the owl. The optimal owl setup. Why is my desktop audio like making noise, but there's nothing happening apart from the game noise? I don't know, maybe something's bugging, but it, it doesn't seem like anything is wrong. Anyway, forget about it. Yeah, but the owl, the owl setup, another thing, I, like I realized part of how 
I don't have a good uh, setup is not merely that it allows you to get the owl scan, but it allows just a lot of buy sell units that then I mean speak of the owl, the owl shall appear, I guess, but I mean I'll take a level. That's an achievement. It's not an achievement I'm grateful for making, but you know. Okay, forget about that. Let's let's just sell. I mean, you're level three, you don't have a single trumpet producing unit anywhere. So I am understandably concerned, to put it that way. Let's put you in here for the time being. A single trumpet producing unit would have would would have gone really really crazy to be honest with you, but that doesn't work now that I think about it. Okay, listen, this may be the stupidest thing that's not failing me so far. I mean, it was bound to fail me at some point, so I'm not complaining. But a level three tamarind with no trumpets to speak of is. I mean, it's a sight to behold, really. And I have to stop buffing you, because if I buff you, you're going to stay around. I don't want you to stay around. Let's be real. I'll free the shrimp. It seems fairly useful. I would like you, and I would like you to get out. I would very much like you, and I think I'll be appreciative of a salad. Yes, that's exactly what I pictured in my mind. Tempting to just give up on the tamarind now, get the jellyfish. It may is it too late for a jellyfish? Be honest with me. I think it is. I think we have to look on look for better things. It's too late for the jellyfish. It's a pipe dream. Next turn, what do we get access to? Nothing too notable. Just run it. Invest in the eel. The eel also got me some good success later on. Holy, the clutch buff actually preventing a loss there. You know what? Fair enough. Didn't think you had it in you, but mm, clearly you do. Okay. What do I want? Operative question. I could go for a whale shark. For the time being, a whale shark, it, 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 could, it could hit the spot. You know, you know what I didn't, you know what, you know, no, am I crazy for thinking about this? Like, what if you, I buy a turkey and I use the turkey and the empty slot to kind of, is there a synergy there? Am I missing something? I don't know. Any in any case, this eel is like of our future. It's our kingpin. But what's like? I don't know if I believe necessarily in the whale shark. I'm pivoting. I don't care. I know. I, it's not. It's a don't get sunken gold fantasy in this game. What's gone is gone. Make the best decision you can at every instance. No, never sunk those costs, simply put. We're almost there. We would have gotten away with it too. Okay. I know what you're thinking. Feed this? No, feed this. Garlic on the eel. Pretty much necessary to stabilize. Would have been nice to have gotten the groundhog when we needed it, but of course, not, not to be. Would have appreciated the buff there, but I mean... That's just an investment in every direction. If we want to sell you, we can sell you. If we want to just keep you around, we can keep you around. Always fair and reasonable. I wanted to talk about... There was this, there was this tweet I... This tweet I saw. 
Where was the tweet? Yeah, I'm not gonna pull it up or whatever. Jamie pulled that one up. I never, I was, second side of tangent, I never watched the Joe Rogan podcast or show or whatever. And when people, you know, they rave on about it, I, I have to, and then people are like, oh, he went a bit crazy or whatever. I don't know. Maybe it did, maybe it didn't. I mean, it's none of my business, really. I don't particularly care, but... Okay, how, how are you spawning two of those? You've got a, car, you've got a temporarily winning system, and I'll, I'll let you get away with it for now. But not for long, brother, not for long. Okay. Forget that. Give me the gold. You need to be buffed. I mean... Put that so that next turn the level is cheaper and I can make my decisions a bit better. I'm shocked that the... Maybe my order is a bit wrong here. Maybe this is a better order. I'm shocked that the garlic eel didn't bear fruit there. But I guess we did go up against the... No, but how, the, the... how did this happen? Yeah, you know what, maybe maybe I'm not built for the big leagues, you know, maybe I should just stick to my small town super auto pets, you know, this isn't the be this isn't the town for me, you know. It, maybe it's an insurmountable gap. I need to start doing some VOD reviews of these guys, see how the hell they got these tactics. I mean... You I'm not so concerned about. I think we got you. Okay, I should have not... We were literally like a, a couple of stats away. That's not fair, is it? Okay. I meant to level you, but... I mean, for the temporary buffs... For the temporary buffs, I think that's pretty much ideal. I need the stats more than I need this. Let's be honest. Okay, now you're got a better unit up front here. This is very tricky. I would have preferred, in hindsight, a level to owl rather than a level to eel. Maybe I would, maybe I wouldn't have. I'm not sure. I don't know who I beat anymore. Do I beat you? Thank God, I think you messed up your order and that saved me, but listen, my elo is definitely not going up. It's not looking good, that much I can tell you. Yeah, I know, I said goodbye to the, co to the cheap apple, whatever. I got the free gold from the thing. It's a cost I'm willing to bear, it's fine, surely it's fine. Should have put a Cyropod on to gain some free gold. It would have literally been free gold. Actually, it would have been zero gold if I just bought and sold it. You know what? That was a smart misstep. Put it that way. Okay, you need a melon. You also need that. Freeze you and put you, put you there. I want you to gain stats. I want you to gain stats because you're not going to get anything. The melons are only hope at this point. We got it as early as we could have. So it's our only hope. We're not beating this team and this team is losing to other teams. So how are we going to see like what's even more terrifying is when you see a squad that's like incredibly insanely powerful. I mean, look at this. How was I supposed to beat this team? Minus nine? How long have I how long have I been recording for? Oh two minutes we go again. We go again. Of course we go again. See now this is just embarrassing. You put me I lose one game and you're like, you know what? Go up against the sub sixteen hundreds. You need a boost of you. Maybe I do need a boost. Maybe that's what I do need. 
We didn't get the order that we wanted. You're at least a 2-3. We'll take what we get. I'll be gasping bosses. Something or other. I'm just concerned. You know, if I won last the last game I played and I lost the last game I played like I don't know what's real anymore. Do I have is the is the only future leech camel? Leech camel and then you buff the camel. Is that the only future? Should I be hunting for that specifically? I mean, maybe that's what I should be doing instead of rolling for like rather random stuff. Something like this. I don't know. Since we since we won the first one again, we can forget about what's going on here. Last, uh, clearly my searching for level strategy did not work out. I should not. Why, why did I spend so long leveling a tambourine to level three? Just because I was, I, I I fell victim to my own trap. I was like, levels are good. I just ignored all other contextual factors that input into the win. I was just like, you know what? Levels are good. That's what I thought. I mean, it's nice to win there, but whatever. Okay. We would like the stats here. Lord help me, I'm going back to the old me. The owl is coming with me. What can I say? I mean, you're clearly gone, and I, none of you are really any help. I wouldn't mind the balloon buffing the owl. Now the question is, do we survive long enough? Of course we do, because this is the easy lobby, because I couldn't hang in the big leagues. That's is that what the game is uh, trying to tell me, like... I'm losing the clones of squads down here. I should change my Weto back text because clearly we're not so bad. Horse mouse. That's not a synergy, brother. Don't don't get it twisted. Yeah, cool story. I'm not. I'm not trying to make this synergy. You just. You just giving attack to anything that's chilling. I mean, how uh, you're cruel, but doing it this way, man. But yes, I'll take a camera. Thank you for asking, and forget about you. Forget about you as well, to be honest with you, but. I would still like the buff to go to the owl. That remains my tactic. And I would like to sell the horse. That remains my plan. The question is, do we make it that far? No. We're losing to chumps. That's what I'm honestly hearing. I mean, we've been given a golden opportunity. I forgot about the order of the... Come on now. I didn't know that that was what was, bro. I thought you would summon it behind. Um, officer, I plead the seventh. I don't know what the seventh is. Yeah, put you in the optimal lettuce. Yippee. Okay, I need you, that's for sure. For certain. For certain. We'll get a level 3 guinea pig. For some reason. And we'll start buffing the hell out of this leech. 
you can't beat them, join them. I think that's the optimal strategy here. Just, just, just camo leech. No brain camo leech, because apparently we can't have a variety of synergies in a weekly anyway. That's me angrily drinking my coffee. I mean, we traded evenly, but my stats were slightly better. And we took down someone who had max health, so that's good to see. Okay, keep buffing you. Get you leveled. Alama is the perfect thing to sell you into. Now, I know that sounds crazy, it's not that crazy. Exactly. Um, thankfully, neither of those are what I want. And obviously, you're gone because so, I want the owl benefit. Okay. We need to get you to level 2 next. While the llama sits in the back, just kind of slowly gaining health. This is more of the conventional. the conventional ways. It's tempting to cut the runs where I lose, but. I'm an honest man. And the llama brings us to another victory. You know what? Maybe it's just that simple. Maybe I was overcomplicating things. Forget the match already, just get the llama. Okay. What do I want? I want this somehow. I'll put it on you because then if we get if we get the uh the praying mantis, I'll go I'll give up on the owl. I need to learn to give up on the owl. I see, I see. I see, I see. And then eventually the llama also probably gets given up on in that way. Okay. Do we track with the rest of the How is how is your uh koala owl both so you're getting increased health, not just static health. That's fair enough. I don't have that combo. I mean, you nearly had me with a double fly fish menace, but not to be, not to be. Okay. I would like to continue with this exact combination, please, sir. I see nothing. I'll freeze you, but I won't choose you. Well, I'll definitely choose you. And I think the obvious solution here is just get you up there in health, sell you, and roll. Possibly a blobfish could come in handy here, but of course I don't have the setup for it. Let's be realistic. There's no point in leveling the leech. What would I rather? I would rather have this slot open for any number of things in here. And I'm going to commit to that idea. We've got a good thing going. Let's not try and be silly. I mean, we're cleaning house this, this current stage of the game. Because we're going up against people who this is like oh it's almost like the tears of the tears of the game are segmented. I would like to level you, even though I said I wouldn't like to level you. Things don't have to make sense. Just buff you. Straightforward a turn is any. Maybe we're not maybe we're not giving up on the owl because it's close to level two. We didn't get the opportunity for a camel to level up, but that's okay. I accept my fate. The problem really with this weekly and maybe this isn't the problem with weekly, maybe this is a problem with me. I'm not sure. But when you remove chocolate, you remove a lot of consistency from the gameplay. The idea being 
it's not just about the the rolling to get a pet, right? Because you can almost almost guarantee getting what you want if you're going the right way about it. But you can't guarantee it working better than something else if chocolate's not in the shop. Okay, you almost had me, but not quite. Okay, buy you, get you out of here. Put you in there, get some free stats. Can't say I'm not interested. However, I would like to temporarily not do that and just kind of buff you up a bit. Seems perfectly reasonable to me. Give me another one of you and then we'll be cooking with gas. I guess in this specific synergy, you do feel the camel is enough quite a bit, but it's still clearly, clearly the camel is enough is not impacting the gameplay here. Yeah? Because, okay, you've got level two. You've got level two Bruin. And you're also setting up praying mantis strats in the back line, meaning to kind of. I, I see, I see what you're doing. You're cooking what the people up in the higher ranks have been cooking. I respect it, but I mean, we're standing at the top of this, so I'm I'm the be I'm the best of the next in line is what you're telling me. I'm you, the, basically the game is like you're not there yet, but you're almost there. I'll put a melon on you. Reasonable. I mean, just roll me to be honest. Well, don't spend three gold on giving a banana. I will take both of these, and I wouldn't even refuse you, particularly. I forgot about the- bro, I, I always forget about this. I always forget, without fail. I should- why didn't I give the melon to the leech? I know you were watching this, you watched me do it, and you're just yelling at the screen like that inter interstellar scene like, no, he's gonna do it again, he's gonna do it again. Like, three gold to negate one damage. I'm a genius, what can I say? At least we know who we're giving the damn tomato to, because you can't handle the melon. I thought that, you know, the leaf should go directly, it shouldn't, it shouldn't, it should bypass such requirements. And I know that would make no sense, but... You know, just, just for me, for me personally, it should do that. We eliminated them anyway, so whatever. We wasted, we wasted a turn. Boohoo. And I know we just gave you that, but I'm gonna give you a peanut jar anyway. Because peanut is just a better choice. Now I would like you to gain one attack so that you have enough stats to break through melon and pierce with the peanut. By the way, that interaction is still kind of dubious to me. It's like a niche interaction. Someone who hasn't played that much will kind of be confused by it. Because the melon... The peanut damage only works if damage is dealt past the melon, you know what I mean? Okay, we traded equally, but your backline is worse because I have a llama. Skill issue, I have a llama. Okay, just, just dump a bunch of stats on you. Level 3 llama, I won't say no. And I would indeed freeze you. You know what, you go up front now, you go up front, why not? You're the strongest unit you know we have now. Take the peanuts. You've earned them. You've been sitting in the back line watching this leech camel synergy go on. It is too powerful though. Like specifically this weekly, it is too powerful. 
Which I guess is a skill issue on my part for not realizing it sooner. Maybe if, I, if that was what I was going for, instead of trying to make a level 3 Tamarind that last run, I would have prevented losing so much, but... Skill issue, I guess. Take it on the chin and move on. This squad is cooked. This squad is more cooked. This squad has potential, actually. But... I mean, they're gonna end up eliminating each other anyway. Hopefully the other guy doesn't lose to a clone. What is going on here? You just... Oh, you got a double shark at the back. Never mind. Okay, well we broke your melon. The... Okay, I, li I said that they would eliminate each other. I clicked past it. Didn't realize. I eliminated one guy, the other guy got eliminated by a clone. We've recuperated most of our losses in that one, so I'm not so mad. But it is kind of funny how I just immediately back to a first place in the lobby of like clearly inferior players. I'm a cut above the rest, but I'm not... I Maybe I'm mentally affected by the fact that I'm playing against better opposition. The game sense isn't quite there. Anyway, it's been Backpack Brain. I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, um, I mean, I'm not, I'm not going to waffle like I used to do. Just like, comment, etc. Follow, subscribe, etc. Do subscribe though. I like seeing the number go up. It's kind of nice. Uh, yeah, everything helps the algorithm. I assume so. And yeah, enjoy.